Hey there, it's Maggie from ilovepapercrafts.com. It's October 1st, so all this week we are featuring Halloween projects on the blog, and I want to show you the moonlight technique, which was you're into this. I learned it from a Founder Circle card I got from the very talented Deb Valder. I'm also going to show you some uh, tricks for coloring this guy in. So let's get started. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So when you can see here is dark and light, and this moonlight technique, high impact, but very, very easy to do. Now we're also just going to color him in with the markers. Let's just go out a little bit. So what I've done here is I've got a color combo of Rich Raspberry, Basic Gray, and some Lucky Limeade. Very simple. Uh, here we've got a little bow, which I've just tied and rolled up a glue dot to stick that on, and then I've topped him off with the googly eyes. Now I've got three shimmery brads. Love my shimmery brads. If you don't have these, these are must, must have for the holidays. So what we've got here, I've already done embossing with the Big Shot on the Basic Gray. I'm gonna take a sponge dauber, and then we're gonna take Basic Black Ink. And all you're going to do for Moonlight Technique is just start dark and pull it in. So it lightens up. And then you're going to leave that middle part where you're going to put your featured image open. Lighter. This is very random. And I'm doing it on the embossed part on my card. I did it on the debossed part. You can see the debossed part's a little different than the embossed. So then I'm just going to finish off the edges a little bit here. And that's it. But it really makes it pop because that's so much lighter. So let's get that out of the way, especially because it's black ink. I don't want anything to fall on it. And let me show you. This is the Tricky Treats Spider. It coordinates with the Tag Punch. And if you have the idea book, Sorry, it's no longer the idea book. It's the annual catalog. It's on page number 28. So what we're going to do is color him in with markers. It's going to come right in so you can see this. So we're just going to do the border with Rich Razzleberry. And I like to use the sides of my markers when I color with my markers. And this, I love this because this is super simple. Last week my 8-year-old son was making a birthday card for his dad and he used this technique. He just, I don't even say it, he just starts doing it and he knows to use the side. I'm very proud. He also told me, hey mom, you know when I'm older, I'm going to help the stampers. I'm going to show them how things are done. So you're in trouble stampers if you stick around a few more years with me. And then we're just going to finish this up with the black. And his shoes are so stinking cute. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, so the one thing you want to remember with the markers is just get it all covered. And then just give it a little huff. <sighs> a little bit of air to re-moisten those parts you've already done. I'm just going to do this on the Whisper White. Isn't that so cute and crisp? Don't you love it? And then uh, see what I've done? I put it too far up on my paper. So here's a little trick for you. You with your punch to get up there. Not quite. I know one of you is watching this going, oh, I hadn't thought of that. Of course you can always use your scissors. So there you've got your little spider and then you're just going to dress him up with the googly eyes. And that's it. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions you can always email me maggie at ilovepapercrafts.com. Take care. Have a great week.